And another nice move there by Quackenbush into a drop kick to his back. He's just taken, and now it got him into a lightning lock. This is one of Mike Quackenbush's submission holes that he invented a lightning lock, but he's just too close to the ropes. Chris Harrell gets a hand in there, and now Mike Quackenbush leaps to the top rope, setting him up. I guess he went for a Hurricane Rana move, style move, but Hero just got out of the way and delivers a drop kick right to Mike Quackenbush's knees, trying to take him down. Gets him behind him and comes back with a chop to his, uh, his chest. Mike grabs, grabs him and into a spinning leg scissor. Already these guys are just all over this ring with some high impact action. Now a school board roll up and Hero's got a bunch, a handful of ru uh, tights. But Quackenbush manages to get out of the way and just drops Hero with that palm slap. Now an inverted Hurricane Rana into a pin but he's just too close to the ropes and a Hero gets out. And a running drop kick but he, mi he only gets a glancing blow on it. And there's Hero delivering an elbow shot to Quackenbush's knee, and he hits all of his elbow, or his drop kick. He just takes him down, but again, Quackenbush counters into another spinning head scissors, and into a standing moonsault splash. Man, I know right now I'm stumbling over my moves. I'm trying to, my best to keep up with the action, but it is so fast-paced, I can't call one move from the next. As soon as I start to call one, another one gets thrown right at me. These guys are just going back and forth. It's only Quackabush and Hero can. Already, I'm, I'm excited. This is an, an outstanding matchup so far, and it's only our opening match now in Explosion. we got some other great matches tonight. It's Spike and, and Flash, a rivalry since day day one almost, or day two actually, here in CWA. These guys have been all over the map with each other, and both their tag teams. We're going to see the debuting of Incoherence and Team Fist tonight. We're going to see Ronald Hale show some more of his teachings from Tommy Wayne as he takes on Jay. We're just going to see some amazing actions tonight. It's, this is going to be a great show, and right now, like I said, we have an outstanding matchup going on in the ring right now that I'm not even paying attention to. And right now, as outside the ring, Hero, a, a senton right there on the Mike Quackenbush into an STF. These guys need to get it back in the ring. I don't know why the referee's not counting. Nobody's told me this is going to be a, a no count out match. But he's just letting them go at it and just letting these guys just pound away at each other right here on, on the ring ape, on the ring floor. So I'm guessing this is going to be a no count out match now. Again, like I said, four matches changing left and right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know if I'm even Johnny B or not as of right now. A series of chops there by Quackenbush and Hero. And a Yakuza kick, that big uh, Hero sidekick as he calls it right to his face and he drop kicks him right back out of the ring. But these guys they know each other left and a dive there by Hero just lands right on Mike Quackenbush's back. So trying to say these guys know each other left and right. They know each other move for move. They can counter anything and everything coming at him. Another but there a Japanese arm drag by Mike Quackenbush taking Chris Hero down. Now Quackabush is getting back in the ring. He's trying to recover from the beating he's been taking so far. His ma matchup has been going back and forth. And a spinning tilt-a-whirl DDT there by Mike Quackenbush. This man is not called the man of a thousand holes for nothing. He'll hit you from a thousand different ways at a thousand different speeds. That just rips a uh, hero into the turnbuckle, but hero counters into a drop toe hold. I'm j I'm just doing my best right now to really keep up. With this action, and these guys are just, just flying all over the ring. And the counter there by Quackabush, and he goes into a cravat. He's using Chris Hero's own move against him with that cravat submission. But knowing Chris Hero, he's yeah, he's not going to give up, and Quackabush knows it. Y you don't submit to your own move. Now Quackabush doing a little bit of gloating, and that's not a good thing when you have Chris Hero in the ring. But again, he managed a series of counters there. I thought Quackenbush had him, but Hero countered back out into a blatant choke. Now the rule book's just been thrown out of the ring. That's the referee needs to admonish Chris Hero for that choke. That was a little uncalled for there, Chris. Don't don't taint this outstanding move by a cheap move like that. And Chris goes for his leg, but Quackenbush counters out of it and into another spinning tilt a world DDT. He just drops Hero square on his head. Now Quackenbush is setting up for something, but Hero counters out. 
into a an armbar uh, submission now that yeah, that's not going to work. He just throws Quackenbush out of the way. And Quackenbush delivers with a stiff clothesline. And an uppercut to the groin by Hero. Again, just showing that, that mean streak that he has ever since these guys have become rivals. But Hero, he's showing some pain. That last DDT, it did its damage. He, he's he got some, some pain going on inside of his head. But not enough to stop him from doing that uh, moonsault splash. We have a cover and... We have a three count! I guess that, that punch to the groin did a lot more damage than I thought it did. It kept Quackenbush down for the three. And Chris Hero comes up with a little bit of a tainted victory tonight. Now these guys had a great matchup and I really hate seeing it ended. Ending the way that it did with that uppercut to the groin. But I guess as Chris Hero would say, a win is a win any way you can get it. So there's your winner tonight, Chris Hero. We're going to be back after this break with more here on Explosion. We're back on Explosion and we're getting ready for the next match in our Tag Team Title Tournament as Incoherence, team of Hollow Wicked and Delirious, get ready to take on the team of Icarus and Grand Hakuma, otherwise known as Team Fist. These guys, again, just like the previous matchup, these are some, these are some heated rivalry right here between incoherence and fist whoever put this match up together in our opening round of our tournament really wanted to exploit the rivalry of these two and I commend him for that I, I'm really excited to see these two tag teams making their CWA debut tonight I'm a huge fan of both of them sometimes I don't agree with the actions of team fist in the ring but they get the job done. These are outstanding tag teams. They've held titles in almost everywhere they've gone. They're just phenomenal. And we're really going to see an outstanding matchup tonight. The unorthodox incoherence, the arrogance of Team Fist. This is going to be an amazing matchup. If you don't know these gentlemen, go out, look them up. Whatever you will not be disappointed by their athleticism in the ring wherever they go. They're just amazing. That's all I've got to say, folks. Till this matchup starts, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this matchup with each and every single one of you all tonight here on Explosion. And this crowd is electrified for this next high impact tag team match. It looks like Icarus from Team Fist is going to start off against Delirious of Incoherence. And we're getting ready to start this match up. And there's the bell and automatically Icarus nails Delirious with an insecurity. Not that it's going to do much damage to, in, to Delirious' already warped and twisted brain. Now... Icarus rolls out of the way and na nails Delirious with a nice uh, Hurricane Rana there by uh, by Icarus. Now into a leg lock submission hold, but Hallowicked comes in to break up that. 
and armbar into a spinning DDT by Grant Akuma who came out of nowhere and now into a single leg Boston Crab by Icarus and Team Fist is dominating incoherence in the early stages of this, mo of this tag team match and another single leg Boston Crab by Icarus onto Hallow Wicked